Hey guys, it's Minecraft here today, and today we're going to be taking a look at this thing. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. This is basically a very secure lock in Minecraft. So let's get into just demonstrating it. So you can see here I'm in a room, so I'm just going to quickly turn that part off. Uh, because otherwise it won't really work. Anyway, so you can see there's a door, and that's locked. So there's no pressure plates, no buttons there, right? To open it up immediately, right? So you can just take some red concrete. So, um, lime concrete and some blue concrete, and this is like the code. So, got red, blue, and then lime. And so, then I just have to flip the switch, and as you can see, it'll open. So, yep, let's get into building this thing. It's pretty big, actually. Let's get to building it, though. Alright, so we're gonna start off with this, actually. Um, <laughs> come to think of it, we should be using the respective colors of concrete. For each, uh, for each, uh, thing, for each item in the code, and so you can use any, uh, block or something. You could use any block to build it, as long as it's uh, not transparent. Uh, and you can use practically any item, as as your code, as long as it's just more than one stackable. So like, armor and do tools and stuff are out. Anyway, so just follow off what I am doing, uh, and you should have it correct. After being used, uh, you might have to actually uh, use the system again in, so in order to reset it. But is it an incredibly secure system that's decently compact for what it is. And on top of that, it does look pretty cool. Plus, it's tileable, meaning you can add in as many extra locks as you want. Any extra combinations, meaning that you do get... Uh, pretty much infinite security unless you go to the world border but that would be literally almost impossible to crack anyway so right now we're just going to make a sorting system and so this is actually a variation of the sorting system that I normally use which is by Minecraft for Dummies a YouTube channel that's the one that I originally used on my printer videos which um more just as a response to Mumbo Jumbo's uh, contest on building one. Couldn't get to him though, so either way I did build one and upload it. Alright, so we're gonna add a sticky piston. And so the way that this works is that basically it'll have you, you set up the locks, right? That's why, why, why you had to do the thing with the lever, right? Uh, you set up the codes, right? And by that I mean you put the items in the correct chest in our respective chests. Then you flick the switch and it triggers the first one first. And if you get that correct, then it'll allow the second one to be triggered, right? Which allows for the third one to be triggered, right? And then so on and so forth as much as you want until the last, which which then if that one goes through correctly, then you actually get to uh then you actually get it uh Working, so that's why the pistons aren't here. Anyway, so th that's why most of these pistons aren't here, right? Uh, the ones that'll push the block into place. That way, it'll allow the redstone signal to travel through, meaning that you have to trigger the first lock first, and the second lock second, third one third, last one last, right? So on and so forth. Anyway, so uh, then, right? It'll trigger in the same order no matter what, but it is a pretty interesting way to make sure that you've got every single lock correct. Uh, there is another way though, and that way is to just build a ginormous um, AND gate, which is a logic gate that basically says that if unless every single input is triggered right, then it won't work. So you could just have one enormous sand gate. That could be like a ton of them, but it's just an interesting other version. Anyways, so we will have this slime, these lime blocks, lime concrete, not slime, lime, L-I-M-E. Instead of having the S at the beginning. Anyways, this one's going to be slightly different than the rest. Whereas the others had an extra piston, had another piston. Trigger the next piston, right? They're triggering the next system, right? 
Actually, I'll get back to that later. Right now, we're just gonna end the actual sorting system part. And I do like this sorting system because it is tileable, so you can use that. And also, to prove the quality, uh, another thing is that it does actually, um, it is actually one block wide allowing for quite a lot of compacting. Anyway, so that does work. Uh, we're gonna have, remember to have the hoppers specifically face into one direct, into a specific direction, right? Anyway, so this way, this part now, it's going to be, this, is a, this also won't be hard. Right, it's gonna have to put some line going concrete there. We also do have to build a actual uh, piston door, which is pretty easy to do. Just because it's a very basic piston door anyways. So we're just going to have first up here there. And so then we're going to go up. And we're going to go like that, right? We're going to go for a total of five blocks that way. That way I'll sync up easier. Like with a position. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And now we're just going to have redstone dust. Otherwise the signal can't travel through. Then some blocks. And that would be redstone dust, two more, and then two more redstone over here, both of our tips. These redstone comparators can basically just face either way. You can invert the way they face, but they have to be one facing this way, the other one facing the opposite way. Uh, but actually, like, as long as, like, one of them is facing towards the rest of the machine, the other one is facing away from the rest of the machine, doesn't really matter. So we're gonna, just gonna have uh, some extra hoppers and lime concrete there. Actually, wait, now I probably shouldn't be using lime concrete to think about it. So, so I'm going to use some purple. If I can just get that that way, I'll um, make it easier to understand the circuits, or at least for you, the viewer. Otherwise, it might be a little bit hard for some people to understand these, especially new redstoners, which is often the focus of my videos. But either way, uh, this one is actually a pretty hard contraption to build that I spent like like a f like a few hours making. Although I guess it was worth it, given that this is a pretty solid contraption and it works pretty well. Okay, I'm proud of this. <laughs> Anyways, so. Uh, we're also going to put in some redstone repeaters, and the reason is, if you just uh, trigger them all at the same time, basically the items will just flow down and won't sort, and you have to remember to trigger one first, that way the blocks can get into place for the other modules. And so, now we're just going to, uh, we actually do have to set these at two ticks, because it does take time, one tick I believe, for each item to travel through the hopper. Which can be used to create timers, um, and also um, pulse uh, pulse extenders, right? But I prefer to use comparators for pulse extenders because it's simple, it's compact, it's fast, it's easy, and just overall very versatile. And we're going to run up this redstone current, and this is a very simple way of running a redstone current up, which is spiraling it up. Hey, sometimes it's useful to just do the that version anyway. So, uh, before we finish that though, we are just going to switch to uh, some pink concrete. And so the pink is going to represent the piston door. Anyway, so we're gonna have redstone dust there, right? You go two blocks out, right? Actually, no, one block, then a block redstone torch. Lock, redstone dust, two sticky pistons, actually don't need the redstone uh, dust there. And so now we're going to have some blocks right there, but first of all we're going to actually have a pressure plate on the side that you're not doing the lock, that way you can get back into the room if you want to. That'll be very easy to just wire up, you can go that way, or alternatively, and actually this is the better way go like this and just go up it's much easier and much more efficient as you're using just four pieces of redstone dust and that's really easy to do anyway 
Anyways, so, a uh, stone pressure plate, and we go on this, it should retract. Okay, that works. So now, uh, after that, there's uh, not too much else to do, but we do have to build this. The rest of this, the, the whole room, so, uh, yeah, I'll get to building that. You can make your own room by yourself, if you want. I'm just going to be copying something that I just did anyways for the demonstration. All right, so now that we finished up that part, now it's time to quickly put some red concrete in there. We're gonna take a stack, put it right in there, and then some blocks there, right? Actually, this is the, uh, yeah. Oh wait, yeah, it's the perfect time for me to quickly just put this here, and we're gonna have <laughs> not TNT that could blow it up. Instead, we're going to have a lever, and we're going to have some signs. Search for that, get that. Alright, so lever in the middle there, and then going to have at the top, and I it's easy to make this up. At the top it's off, and that goes up against uh most just lever things are on is at the top and off is at the bottom. But still Anyway, so we're gonna turn it on. And that way allow everything to flow through. The office or like a lock. And it means that uh, the sort system won't check until you go on. So we're going to put a stack in there. We're going to fill up the rest. Some people like to fill it up with like feathers or some sort of other item. Uh, it's actually, I'd say it's better to just use uh, the same item. Because that way it's full, it's like foolproof. You can't just put feathers in there. It's actually often a pretty good idea when you, when you are going up against like a lock. If you do want to pick a lock sort of in Minecraft. Uh, just put feathers in because that's pretty common to so just fill one so that way it's two items effectively doubling the chance of the player getting it anyway so let's just test that this works so I have to quickly grab some red concrete of course you can use different items as long as it's uh, more than one stackle so let's check this you have to quickly turn it off. Okay, it's off. Red concrete here. Blue concrete here. Green concrete here. Let's go over. Flick the switch. And here we go. And it closed. So now, guys, please leave a like, please subscribe, please turn on the videos, and leave a comment down below. These told me a lot. I'm going to make another video soon. But until then, SEL Minecraft out. By the way, this video is sponsored by North Castle Integration LLC, taking companies and putting them together, integrating them.